heart is an amazing organ, mainly because if it stops, nothing else works. The average heart is about the size of a fist and weighs about 12 ounces, while the heart of a blue whale can weigh up to 1,500 pounds. Hello, mama. Your heart beats around 36 million times every single year, or around 3 billion over the course of a lifetime. More if you're consistently frightened like my grandma. Oh, oh Bobby, oh, you're like to scare me to death, my heart. Your heart pumps out 2,000 gallons of blood every single day and manages to beat 100,000 times every single 24 hour period. But you gotta love your lungs. At rest, you breathe about 12 times a minute. While exercising, that can go up to 20. All told, you breathe about 8.5 million times every single year. The amazing fun fact here is the sheer number of airways you have. There are about 1,500 miles worth of air passages laid out in your lungs, all of which are used to make 50 trillion deliveries to your cells after every single breath. Then the blood takes the carbon dioxide given off from the cells, sends it back to the lungs, and you exhale. Just think of the organization this entails. Every second of the day, no matter what you're doing, whether you're asleep, paying attention in class, or on the road, you have 50 trillion cells saying, please sir, may I have some more? And somehow your blood knows which side of the body to stay on. Oxygen bringers on the right, carbon dioxide recyclers on the left. Now for this system to work, once the carbon dioxide has been expelled from your lungs, it has to go somewhere to be magically converted back into oxygen. We call those magical converters trees. Don't you find it just a little miraculous that this planet just happened to be covered with trees when we got here? Ah, no, I'm sure it was just dumb luck. I would be remiss leaving the subject of your heart and your lungs without including the following plug. Get off your hairy hiney and exercise. People who exercise not only strengthen their heart and their lungs, it lowers the risk for a whole slew of diseases like diabetes, not to mention your clothes fit better, and you don't get winded when you open the fridge. And for those reasons, I have joined a gym and I force myself to go three times a week when I can. And the weather's good, and I feel like it, and I'm not traveling or sick, or napping. Sometimes when it's really quiet, I can almost hear my arteries clogging. Next week, the eyes and ears have it. <laughs>